Good morning, everyone. My name is Akesh Gupta, and I'm with Lightspeed Solutions. Today, in this presentation, I will share with you how easy it is to filter data by logged in user once we have implemented the security. To begin with, let's just go through the application where we have built a make model ear automobile application. And to run the application, we basically have implemented security and based on the username and password, which we are going to type in here, where right now the data is not any um, data is not basically filtered. So if I go to automobile table, you will see all the automobile records which have been entered in the system. And as you can see, different automobile records have different owners. An owner is really a user. So we have a user table. A user table basically create, has a list of all the users. And when we are working with an automobile record, each record belongs to a particular user. So the uh, business goal here is that by default, as soon as a user logs in, this table should automatically be filtered by the logged in user. So once you have implemented security, you will automatically get your sign-in, sign-out procedures and system automatically shows you who is logged in. So let's go back to RN Speed application. This was my table page. This is basically where we are showing all the information. So once you have implemented the security wizard through Tools Application Security Wizard, which uh, in case you have not, please watch other videos for the details. Once that's implemented, I can go to my table page, right click on it, go to Query, and go to Where Clause. Because in reality, we would like to filter the data in the show table page with the logged in user. So right here, as you can see, we are selecting some attributes from a table. We would like to add a where clause. And in this where clause, we are going to select the table, which in our case is going to be automobile. And we're going to select the field. In our case, it's going to be user ID. So now this user ID really should be tied in with the logged in user ID. So the user ID that's logged in is available to us as a formula. So now if I click on formula, I can click right here, right now, I can click, I can right click here and I can say in my function security user ID. So as you can see, in my formula editor, I have the capability to select the user ID and the system automatically knows what is the value based on who logs in and I can click OK here and I can finish it and rebuild so by simply doing this single step on the show table page it's very quick to filter your data with a logged in ID so I will sign out system will sign out anyway because the application has been rebuilt and based on when we sign back in we are expecting that based on the user who so, who signs in system is automatically going to narrow down the data now to test let's sign out and sign in as John Doe to make sure that works as well so if I log in now as John Doe password is password and I click on auto and as you can see just by us going into the query builder the where clause and selecting this option in my formula editor we were very easily able to filter the data with, by the logged in user ID hope you folks uh, can find use for it and hope you enjoyed this video and keep watching for uh, all the other videos online and thanks for watching.